was it like literally when you were had that panic attack or um were there multiple like defining moments Uh, yeah, I think there were two or three, to be honest, like sometimes when you face some damage, it doesn't hit the first time. It's like cumulative hmm. damage over time that, that adds up and gets you to make some changes. So, um, yeah, the first was uh, when I was an SDR, I was, there was a particular day where I was making almost 200 calls that, that day for a contest that we were having wow. and on the spot, essentially while I was on the phone with a prospect, I couldn't speak anymore. So my voice gave out. And then my whole body uh, basically went went through chills. Like it was just, it was freezing. I started getting really cold. I had to wrap myself in blankets and sweaters. Um, and then hmm. I had to roll over to my manager's chair and be like, hey, I, I, I don't think I can work right now. I got to go. And hmm. so um, basically like my half of my body broke out in hives. I had to be rushed to the hospital. Um, and then I had to quarantine for two weeks after that. So I quarantined before even COVID started, um, hmm. like well before. And so that was number one. And that got me to make some changes and slow down a little bit and be more intentional about being smart about how I worked. Uh, that's when I actually started getting into my mindfulness practice. So that was about uh, six years ago now. Um, and then the panic attack. Yeah, I was in a car. Um, my friend was driving at the time and I had a, a sudden panic attack. We were, we were arguing about something. I don't remember what, but... Um, I had a panic attack on the spot just from, I think, all the stress that had built up over time. And I ended up hmm. opening, opening the door and, and jumping out. Thankfully, the car had stopped, but I, I dove right into a snowbank. And it was one of the lowest moments, moments of my life. I think 